Yeah, uh, Millie's 50-50 for tomorrow. Um, I've made it clear that having so many games in quick succession, um, that we're managing our loading. Uh, we wanted to give her a, a little bit of extra time, but I think she's very much in doubt for tomorrow. What's the issue? Um, as you know, prior to the World Cup, she had a, a surgery on her knee, so preparation going into the World Cup was an ideal. She probably, you know, rushed herself back, and she's also come back after the World Cup and quickly into the Chelsea season. So perhaps she needed a little bit longer. So we're her knees a little bit angry at the minute. It's not anything that's. Uh, too detrimental, but I think uh, we're just listening to her body at the minute and how it's feeling, and so we're just going to take decisions on a day day by day basis. And could that mean she could withdraw from the Lioness squad? Yeah, possibly. I think there's a strong possibility that that could happen. Okay, uh, moving on, on the weekend, uh, it was released record figures, viewing figures for your game against Liverpool. I uh, just wanted to get your reaction on that when you hear news like that. Um, wow, that's amazing news. Uh, I know we like to talk about viewing figures and attendances a lot, so it's great to know that we won the uh, the uh, great viewing figure uh, statistic race. Um, this week, lots of attention, as uh, you're not surprised about, on your next move and what this international break will look like. How are you finding that balance since that's been announced with being Chelsea head coach and still having an eye on what's going on uh, with the US women's team? Yeah, I mean, I think I've been very generous in what I've said so far. And as far as I'm concerned, I'm here to talk about Chelsea business and that's all I'm going to talk about today. No problem at all. Uh, Sam, just wanted to get your opinions on your boss leaving at the end of the season. We haven't heard from you. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, yeah, it's obviously sad. Emma's a great coach, um, a great leader, and she's been here for so long. Um, but, you know, that's football. Um, I'm in a different position than most of the girls. I've had many different coaches over my career. So I don't want to say I'm used to it, but I'm more, I guess, used to it than someone like Millie or the other girls that have been here longer. So Chelsea's very lucky that they've had her for as long as they have. But, I mean, most of us in football are, are used to this thing. So it's sad to see her go, of course. But, um, of course, we all wish her all the best. Do you mean it? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, will you be thinking that when you're going out for Australia and Emma's in the US dugout? Oh, no, the USA never want to play us anyway. They, <laughs> they never pick us to play them, but hopefully now they pick us and I can go to the USA a bit more. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Sam, last week uh, in the Champions League, we saw some interest in officiating. Uh, I wanted to just get your opinions on that and, and what can be improved, certainly within the European game, to improve those decision-making so we don't see maybe such big errors made. Yeah, I mean... I'm here to play football. I, I hate commenting on the referees because I think it just becomes tit for tack and I don't want to get into that. I think, it, yeah, of course it's frustrating, but we've moved on from it and that's Emma and Paul's job to deal with those things as a player. I just try and stay out of it because, um, like you said, it, it can become frus frustrating, but I don't know how to improve it. I don't know if I love VAR or not, so it's... um. It's yeah, it's not for me to comment on. It's I just try and focus on the game and be in the moment and play and have the best impact I can have rather than let the referees control my emotions and feelings. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, James. Can we come across to Emma Sanders next, please, then? Oh, Emma, hope you're well. Hey. Thanks for your time. How um, are you? Emma, I'll start with you. I just want to ask you, um, yeah, I was wondering where you were looking at. Um, I just want to ask you about, about the new development. I know you've chatted about her quite a lot already this season because obviously she's had a great start, but I just wonder if there's anything that she's maybe... Uh, Neve Charles. Oh, Neve. <laughs> yeah, I just wondered if, if there's anything different or maybe just something that she's adapted this season to, to sort of fulfil her potential kind of in the ways that we've, we've obviously seen glimpses of, but she seems to be doing it a lot more consistently. I think it's probably a question for her than than me, um, because only when you ask her, you'll know what her learnings have been. I think she's been in this place for quite some time. I I probably cite maybe February of March of last year, where I felt she's been in that place, and I don't think she's looked back. 